You guys have had me joke one too many times about disappearing to Russia or Colombia with some Eastern European ladies, perhaps some Spanish mommies, and that's a reflection of my current mental state and, and how unhappy I am with how things are generally going. You know, I've been trying to stick it out for years and years now, and this past week has been especially bad, and I just get more and more upset the more I try to stick it out. So I figured I would fill you guys in on some stuff, and uh, you know maybe someone has some ideas to help me out. What actually triggered this was uh, some more uh, bot spam on my comments that didn't go through from you know these people that have been harassing me ever since the rat started plagiarizing my videos. So I'm not going to name them. I'm not going to say specific things because last time I did that, the video was taken down, and, and that defies the point. But Generally speaking, anyone who's successful, especially nutrition influencers, especially people on YouTube, the people that control the world basically, they work together to manipulate the masses to make money off of them. I happen to be in the middle of it because, you know, when I started YouTube in 2016, my goal was to improve people's health. You know, just did my own thing for a few years, working normal jobs still, helping a lot of people. And then as soon as I started my business, and money got involved, things got really, really ugly, especially considering all of the creative ideas I had. So, you know, back when I started the nutrition stuff, carnivore diet, grain-fed beef, that, that was really it. Now, every time I go on TikTok, every time I go on YouTube, every time I go on any social media post, more so in the past two years, I can name a dozen influencers off the top of my head that are ripping things I came up with, stuff I've never heard before outside of my YouTube channel, pushing it as their own information, trying to gain followers as, you know, health gurus and all that type of stuff. This includes doctors, and, and these people aren't just copying me, they're copying other people too, and, and those people seem okay with it, which is crazy to me. But the point is, and the point of me bringing that up is, you know, I, I'm censored on all social media, my ideas are already out there, I can't call out these people, I can't talk about these people because those videos get censored. And you know, if most of the health information is out there and I'm just going to be plagiarized and copied and then censored, you know, what's the point, you know? I, I, could, I could disappear, people can never see me again, and, and for the most part the information is going to be there and people are going to be able to find their health. Are they going to have the accumulation of knowledge and wisdom and be able to fix their health as quickly as me? No, but I think most people, if they're looking for it, will be able to figure it out. So I'm, I'm starting to think, what's the point, you know, if I started all this health and nutrition stuff to try to help people? And then the business stuff too, from, you know, my business partner stealing money, having to get rid of him, getting sued by Rat Boy in federal court now for slander, just being harassed by these people for money. And I understand that I need to make basically as much money as possible to have the business to provide people with products to help people improve their health and to have as much reach and influence as possible. But these other influencers want as much money as possible to give back to their group. That's my understanding of it. They make as much money as possible, they give it back to their group. Whether it's selling supplements, selling their own food products, that's why they're so persistent at harassing me and trying to get, they post comments on my YouTube videos, on my Instagram pages, on my TikTok, trying to get my viewers, it's pathetic. I'm censored to the point where I haven't grown on YouTube, I've been at 100,000 for years, and they're still trying to steal my viewers from me. It's absolutely disgusting. What's the point? If the world is run by evil people that, you know, don't, you know, why, why, why do I need to be here? I could go on a fucking beach for the rest of my life and not have to stress out and not have to worry about this bullshit. So that's the business side of it. I don't think I have to go into too much more detail, but I'll say one more thing. Every single one of these health influencers, look, I, 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 was, on, I was basically, I felt like I was on my deathbed three years ago with the liver damage, especially coming back from MasterChef. My skin, my hair, my teeth, my eyes, my, my intelligence, every single aspect of me beats all of these health gurus out. And it's not even fucking close. It's, it's, it's embarrassing, to be honest, that I'm one of the best looking, healthiest looking, smartest, most... Listen, I, I've said it before. If, if I'm the best guy on the table, you guys are fucking screwed, you know? And, and the way I look at that is just, this is just, this is just fucking nonsense. These people are fucking balding. They're, they're fucking ugly. They have no understanding of health and nutrition, so they have to copy other people. And they use lies and deceit. And that's another big thing. These people will lie to your fucking face. They'll be having their ugly ass wife inject Tren and steroids and D-Ball into their ass. And then they'll come over to my fucking YouTube channel and tell me I'm doing steroids. They're a bunch of fucking comedians.
anyway, uh, since they have control over social media and all these stuff, they censor me, promote themselves. None of that stuff matters is what I'm saying. How I look, how I articulate, all that stuff, the work I put in doing more YouTube content really than all the health influencers on YouTube except for a select few, yet still not getting the growth. It's it's just discouraging. Um, and then on the personal end of stuff, you know, because of the harassment, my and guys, honest to God, my business is not making money. It's it's even. It's keeping it afloat. I can't move out of my fucking parents' house. I'm 30 years old. You know, I I, I go apply for a mortgage. They say, oh, you, you don't have any income to show. We can only approve you for like a two hundred thousand dollar house, which in in New York, there's no that doesn't exist. <laughs> I can't I can't live in an apartment. My health will get even worse. Then I'll really give up. The Wi-Fi radiation, the air quality. So you know, and and my you know. I love my parents to death, but ever since, you know, with them getting the, the injection and all that stuff, you know, they, they've been different people. And, and I, I really feel like I don't have anyone anymore. So um, the, the combination of, you know, seeing all of the people plagiarizing and copying my ideas and everything I worked so hard to come up with to help people on TikTok, not crediting me for it, all these people shilling their BS supplements. And then... What's crazy is instead of going after those people, since they're all in the club, they still just come after me and try to try to steal more from me. It's absolutely despicable. So yeah, as much as I've been very happy with where Frankie's Strange Meat has gotten to, where all my other businesses have gotten to, you know, all of these vendors and people I deal with, including things as simple as UPS and the post office, and you know, there, there's some integrity to these other businesses I work with because they still want my money, but I'm getting jerked around left and right. And I don't see how I'm going to be able to do business on any large scale, uh, not being in the club, basically. So, you know, I'm honestly looking for a way out the next few months. I don't know what I'm going to do. I keep saying I'm going to stick it out, but, you know, I, I got the, the neighbor in, in my building trying to kick me out. I got my landlord sending a different guy down to fucking harass me every day and saying, you can't do this, you can't do that, compromising my business. And, and I, don't, I don't have the money to move to a new facility. It, it, at this point... The amount of nonsense, the amount of headache, the amount of stress I'm dealing with, it's just it's just throwing the towel and, and call it quits. Because as I said earlier, hey, maybe some more people are going to suffer. Maybe people aren't going to improve their health. But uh, I feel like my reach has been fairly limited at this point because of the censorship. Uh, so I think it's time to, to you know, to step out and, and call it a day. You know, it, it's taken a while and a lot of these negative interactions I've had on these social media platforms and, and trying to help people to to get to the point where I don't care because you know the only thing I ever care about is whenever I see someone and it could be as simple as someone not attractive some homeless guy on the street you know I see how unhappy people are in general and I felt like what I was doing would would ultimately make the world a better place but um, at this point uh, I just don't see it happening through what I'm doing now so thank you guys for joining me you know, I, I had a couple of other video ideas I wanted to film today, but uh, I, I couldn't really stomach it anymore, to be honest. Uh, you know, I, I could film three videos a day more creative than anyone else is doing and still would get 500 fucking views half the day. So I just finished editing this video and I missed a few points. You know, normally I'll write a script, I'll have my thoughts collected. This time I didn't do that. I'm kind of just talking to the camera. Although I will say, I am very impressed and how much restraint I've held in insulting people and saying derogatory things. You know, I, I'm not showing how I truly feel about these people. What I will say is, earlier, uh, I was, you know, just another example. I was watching a podcast. This guy was saying, I'm here to help people. I'm here to help people. One of these health gurus, you know, selling supplements that destroys people's organs, yet he's here to help people. Well, you know, that's really all I personally have, helping people, you know. That's... All I do, I don't have anything to look forward to. All these other people, they have businesses, they have their families, they have their personal life, they have this club they're in. They, they have all these other things. That, that's what their focus is. For me, you know, if I can't improve people's health, you know, then, then to me, you know, that's it. You know? if, guys, if I wanted to be with a bunch of dirty European girls or Spanish girls, I would have done it already. If that's what I wanted to do, I would have done it already. I don't want that stuff. I don't, I don't want anything. I don't want anything besides, you know, helping people and improving people's health. And if I can't do that, then, you know, it, it, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. But it, it, 
I don't, I don't feel like it would be this. And, you know, I didn't have the worst life, but I, as I said, guys, I don't, I don't have anything else, you know? I didn't really go to college. I was working crappy restaurant jobs. Then I started YouTube and, you know, I, I, never really, I never really had anything, you know, outside of that goal of wanting to help people. You know, I, I, I've, you know, I can't remember a day in my life where I was genuinely happy or had fun. And I don't mind that, you know. And, and that's another big thing, guys. At this point in my life, you know, I, I can't even stomach asking a girl on a date or, or attempting to act normal. I, I've been through so many negative experiences through the social media stuff, through YouTube, through the businesses that I, I can't stomach having a conversation with a normal person. I can't even do it. I can't even pretend to be normal anymore. And then half of the people that you even try to interact with are in the club too. And uh, I got a few stories about that, which are pretty funny, but no point in really talking about them. So that final main point I'm trying to make is since this is what I genuinely care about, and what I want to do, and I can't see myself doing anything else, when I see all of these other people working together against me, uh, you know, it's just, it, it really just breaks my heart. I, I just can't do it anymore. How do I tie together this last example without being too derogatory? So, as much as I hate bringing the scumbag up, Rat Boy is the perfect example of this. Some of the other ones too, but uh, you know, the guy's never worked an honest day in his life. Not one creative idea or thought on his own. No research done by himself. He has a whole team of people working for him that wrote his book, that do the research for him, that tell him what to say in videos, that run his supplement company. The guy is just a face, you know? The guy is just a face of, of whatever they're putting. I don't know who this guy's dad was. I don't know how connected this guy is, but it's actually crazy. It's actually crazy that this guy has that team of people working for him, doesn't have to lift a finger, is talking to celebrities like George St. Pierre, Bear Grylls, all these other people in the club. And then at night, he goes back to his Costa Rican villa to play with 15-year-old boys. Huh? How fun does that sound? Imagine if my life was like that. Imagine if I had a team of like 15 dirty NYU girls that did everything for me. I just wake up in the morning, lay out in the sun a few hours, film a few videos and go to bed, you know? Maybe I have three Latina girls waiting for me when I get home. I don't have to worry about people harassing me. I don't have to write my own book. I don't have to go down to this warehouse every day and cough my lungs out breathing in these fumes and chemicals. I don't have to lose my mind being harassed. Imagine, imagine that, imagine that, holy shit. I can't take these fucking people. And some of you might be thinking, hey, Frank, why don't you join the club? Well, I mean, first of all, the way they've treated me with all this social media and YouTube stuff, you know, hey, hey I'd rather jump off a cliff than do that. But uh, yeah, they can't say and do certain things. You know, each one of their influencers is limited to their wheelhouse. There's a reason I have so many unique businesses and ideas pertaining to health. I'm able to do basically whatever the hell I want. However, I don't have free reign on social media or promoting stuff or any of that. And I, I genuinely believe that I am worth more than all of these ugly cocksuckers combined. And I don't necessarily mean ugly on the outside, I mean ugly on the inside. So, and by cocksuckers, I'm not just insulting people, guys. So by ugly, I meant that. And by cocksuckers, I mean these people will like just suck up to each other so much it doesn't make any sense there, there's no honesty or integrity or genuineness in how these people become popular just based off of hype and and the lies that their own group gives them so i mean it's funny to me at this point but they've done an excellent job at copying and plagiarizing my ideas into their own businesses you know whether it's those clowns with the nose to tail grass-fed carnivore movement ripped from my youtube channel you know, liver king, eating raw meat and being primal and doing the organ stuff. Literally copying what I did with raw organs years ago, all that stuff. People never knew who those ideas were originally from. And if they did, I wouldn't be living with my fucking parents. And, and these people are such low lives, bottom of the barrel. They won't give you... Dude, I can't even sell masticum. I can't even sell tree bark. When I announced masticum on my YouTube channel... A month later, there were three 
like new companies selling jaw chewing gum for twice the price I was. Oh, God forbid fr they knew Frank is selling Mastic gum. When I started selling water kefir, the, these two girls start a water kefir company in the tri-state area. It, it's it, every little idea I've had. It's like it's crazy. It's crazy. I and, and you know when I and and the, my ideas don't stop. I come out with more creative stuff. I keep I keep innovating. I keep trying to make it work. I keep trying to make my businesses work, and, and they just keep copying the ideas over and over again, censoring me. And I, I'm in like this. It feels like it's never going to end. It feels like it's never going to end. How many multi-million dollar ideas do I have to come up with? You know? The amount of meat companies I've seen that have started, that have been astroturfed since I started my meat company and have all tried to do similar ideas, it's, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And, hey, you know, if I had billions of dollars... And I could just copy some young kid's company and make money off of his ideas. Would I do it? No, because I'm not a fucking scumbag. That's why. But that's what these people do. So it's whatever. Whatever. Anyway, uh, when I end up on that beach uh, with those Russian girls bringing me margaritas made with organic tequila, maybe I'll send you guys some postcards. So...